Esri is all about serving you. It's worth and very important for me to say it, that we are your organization. And about 30% of our revenue now goes into ongoing R&D. We are very focused on delivering good science and good engineering to support you, but it requires two hands to make claps. So giving us feedback about that is, is especially important. Out of the last year's user meeting, we developed three big initiatives. One of them is simplifying our government contracting work. We now are totally into FATARA contracting, which opens up ELAs for small governments and also gives a scaling factor for all of you. Also, we've been working hard on improving our security with FISMA and FedRAMP, FedRAMP compliance. And then finally, through our labs and the, and the organization here in DC, we're supporting now managed cloud services, specialized training, and jumpstart packages to help users both migrate to the next generation, but also start uh, new initiatives. We also spend a great amount of time on professional development. These are initiatives like this user's conference or our publications, ESRI books, training materials, newsletters, uh, and most recently, self-paced e-learning environments for all of our users without cost. These are, these are ways for us to get connected. The last one I'll mention is the GeoNet community, which is, if you're not members of it, I invite you to look at it. It is a social sharing site. It's kind of like taking this user conference and making it go 7 by 24. And there are hundreds of thousands of, of you that are connected, sharing best practices and knowledge. Part of ESRI's success is our partner network, and we have thousands of them. Some are huge, like Microsoft and Azure, that we work closely with in evolving our tools. And then there are thousands of organizations that provide value services, corollary technologies for our users. They're very committed, these organizations, to your success as we are. A couple of years ago, we initiated a new small business program, and there are dozens of new small businesses here in the audience which are getting acquainted with GIS, starting to do GIS services work. And so out here in the booth, perhaps later uh, in the day, you can visit some of those organizations. Let me also say that ESRI is very committed to education. We donate ArcGIS Online, together with our friends at, at Amazon, to all American K-12 schools. We have over... Thank you. <laughs> Since last year, we now have over 5,000 schools that we support, uh, school districts that we support. And this has not, again, been our success. I mean, we can do our part with curriculum and technology, but thousands of our users have actually volunteered and become mentors in these school programs, uh, collaborating with data sets, teaching, teacher support. So I want to invite you to get active in that space. It'll, you know, it's, it's really cool. I want to summarize this morning by simply saying geography, the science of our world, and mapping, and GIS have never been so important. It's enabling this new science of where, and it's also creating a platform for creating a better future. And you, particularly you, in your various agencies, are are active in that activity. I mean, we're just little technology builders. You've made it come alive. You're building the maps that run our country and in many ways run our, our nation. This, this field, GIS, from a technology perspective, I can brag and get excited about the technology's getting better. <laughs> I love that idea. It's integrating real time. And I can go on and on about how it's now going to engage people, and it's better science, and it's better technology. But in many ways, without you, I mean, you're basically essential to make this thing work. Again, I'll refer back to David, David's point, his 
His success was really collaboration. DHS's success was collaboration, leveraging everything else that you guys did. This new technology is all about collaboration and making a difference, working together. So I want to thank all of you for the work that you do. It's a great privilege for me and my colleagues to serve you.